Right, good morning guys. Um, welcome back to the van. I am back from my trip, uh, much to the dismay of Emily. But there you go, apparently I've made a right mess, but what can you do? You can tell Lou's back. Let me just show you the state of my kitchen. Look, how on earth am I meant to do anything? Don't just sit there smiling. Look at her. Oh yeah, dining table. We'll dine on that later. <laughs> like, look, oh yeah. Car battery on charge, yeah, lovely, lovely. Uh, so today I'm gonna crack on, uh, one thing I learned from my trip is I really need to get the Wi-Fi sorted, so I'm gonna crack on and get that installed today. Then a few other bits and pieces, and yeah, we'll go from there, really. Um, so the setup I've gone for is from a company called Motor Home Wi-Fi. Um, I'm not gonna endorse it because I've got no idea if it's any good, but basically I couldn't be bothered to do any research. So all I've done is looked at who uses the internet a lot in a van and just bought the same setup as they've got. So I'll show you what I've got, what I've got fit, and then, yeah, we'll go from there. Uh, so this is like the antenna that's gonna sit on the roof of the van. Uh, the reason I've gone for one with an antenna is because uh, when you're in the van, all the insulation, all the silver foil, all the stuff seems to block the signal somehow. So I've got something that you can fit, I can fit on the outside of the van that will send the signal down to our router. And then I've just got this router, which came as part of the, the kit. So. Basically, I need to fit that to the roof, run a cable down the cableway. I'm going to fit this under the sink right next to the, the water supply, which is really clever. Uh, and then, yeah, basically connect them up. And that should be about it, really, I think. And I've put a sim in already, so we've got a, a Smarty sim, I think, which runs on 3, the Network 3, which is fine for in the UK. Um, 20 quid a month and you get unlimited data, so yeah, that's all right. And... Yeah, so let's crack on with fitting the bloody thing. Uh, so it's at this point in the editing process I've realised I've filmed all this and not recorded any audio. Uh, so basically what I'm doing here is I'm using a step drill bit to drill a hole in the roof. Uh, next step was to grab Emily's 12 volt hoover. She'll appreciate that to hoover up all the little metal filings. If you don't, they just rust and stick to your roof. Uh, then more filing. Uh, take away any sharp edges. Obviously with the cables running through that hole, you don't want it catching. And then I grab one of Emily's tea towels and some anti-COVID alcohol hand spray because I've got nothing else uh, to clean the area. Then using one of Emily's spoons, open up a tin of hammerite uh, just so I can treat the, uh, where I've cut the metal. Although it's going to be covered, you still want to protect it from rust. Right, it has just started raining, which is bloody ideal. Um, but while we're waiting for that hammerite to dry, I think what I'll do is I'll start prepping on the... Oh, that's dark. Start prepping on the inside of the van. Uh, so basically, uh, flipping Nora bloody camera uh, so basically this is Emily's cupboard I've deliberately made sure all the cables that come into the van come through Emily's cupboard because they're annoying uh, this I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that's the hole that we just drilled so the cables will come through there along here drop into this cupboard so I'll drill a hole here or something drop down through there and then I've already got a cableway which runs down behind here and then I'm gonna sight the uh, Router, 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 router. I've already set up the bracket, so it comes with this bracket thing uh, which holds all your cables, and then I'm just gonna, yeah, run the cable, drill another hole, and then the cables into there. Yeah, so I'm gonna crack on with that now uh, and keep an eye on that rain because I've got the skylight open, I've got a hole in the roof, we've got cameras out. Flipping typical, they didn't give any rain today. Yeah, so. Yeah, I don't know if I need to film all that. Do you need to see all that? It's quite boring, really. It's just drilling holes. Whoa. We got through. Ah. Who built this van like this? The van's an absolute mesh, it's going to kill me for filming it like this, but it is what it is. Right, okay, so 
got my cable entry gland. I've run some cables down that end and just uh, cable tied them to this for a minute because I'm going to sight the aerial down that end. Uh, but I can now, this is dry finally, I can now feed the cables through, which is always fun, and then collect them from the other side, start running them through the van. So I'm going to use some mastic sealing tape to build this up and then I'll silicone this on. Uh, if you saw my solar panel video, I don't know if you can see that from there, but you'll know I bloody hate these things. So yeah, let's make some silicon mess. Okay, so this is the antenna, um, and then this is the bracket I've bought to fit it. Uh, so basically there's a bolt that comes through there and I just, that's got some 3M tape on it. You stick that on and then tighten up the nut underneath and that holds that on there. And then this screws to the roof, which I wanted to avoid to be honest, but I've just got nowhere else to fix it to, so I'm going to have to put some holes in the roof. Um, but I'm not too impressed because it's meant to fit like on the two ribs or on the lower ones but it doesn't so I'm gonna have to put it I'm gonna have to turn it around like that which means I'd lose the you know the wind's gonna hit it more or I put it round like that on a slight wonk so yeah not ideal but it'll be fine it's just frustrating because obviously you know the bracket was 40 quid so you know 40 quid uh, and also the the nut thing was missing off the bottom of it so I've had to wait three days for that to come in the uh, Friday they post it out Friday today's Monday so yeah for that to come in a post so yeah a bit frustrating so I'm just going to put four self tappers in stick a flex underneath a load of PU on top yeah and then and then stick this on and bolt it down and connect it up and that should be about it really So next then I just want to connect up the two wires going through the roof to the two cables that come out the back of the aerial and then I've got some self amalgamating tape uh, to put around them after that. Alright, good morning guys. Um, band's gone. Uh, so basically I was going to show you guys the rest of the Wi-Fi install but I forgot that the van was going to have uh, brakes and or new discs and new pads on the front brake so the van's not here so I can't do that. But I do have to crack on and get that battery out of Emily's kitchen before she kills me uh, so I need to sort my car out. Now I don't know if any of you have seen my car before, it is insane, I love it. This is my car. Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switcher. I hit the function, hit the road right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a sticker. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Bill, I'm in the mood for a changer. I leave the city and return with my changer. They got amnesia, don't remember how they played us. Volvo Estate, innit? Obviously, what else would I drive? Um, the Volvo Estate is the car of choice for all grumpy old men. Love it. Love this car, she's a beast. Um, her name's Volvo, if anyone's wondering, yeah, because obviously she's a Volvo, so that's that's the reason. Um, but yeah, she's not been driven since before lockdown, so she's been sat still since sometime in March. So God knows what condition she's going to be in. The tyres are probably knackered, uh, the battery may well be knackered, but I've had it on charge for a while, so we'll we'll try and get the girl going. Um, if you're wondering where Emily is, I'm afraid it's probably going to be another week where she doesn't really be in the blog. Um, 
a few reasons really. Uh, reason one, obviously I'm not working and she is, which makes it difficult. Um, reason two. Uh, basically I'm just doing work on the van and the car, so <laughs> you all know there's really not much point. Um, and reason three, well, let's get this battery out there first and then we'll go through reason three. Um, so I think reason three might be just about to walk through the front door. We'll see what mood it's in. My money's on a bad one. Three. So, don't just love it when you're right. What mood are you in? What mood I'm in a good one. I'm oh, in a smug mood. Well. I'm in a smug mood. Smug mood. mood. Yeah. Are you in a bad mood with me anymore or is that finished? I wasn't in a bad mood yet. No? No. No, you haven't been in a bad mood with me at all. No, not today. <laughs> How about for the last like four yeah, or five right, days? Right, are you going to go on and put me in a bad mood or are we just going to have my conversation? Although this week I could cough and just put you in a bad right, mood. Are you listening? Always listening to you. So? So you're just going to make it worse, aren't you? Because everything that's coming out your mouth... So I don't know why you're still going on. Why are you still going on? Not going on. You, you are, though. No, it's just... Every other word. Just making a small point. Um, well, point taken. Point made. I'm still not apologising. So you can keep making your point. <laughs> you've come home like this right because i was just trying to show everyone what you're like to live with <laughs> that's, that's not nice amazing. this this is reason three this thing right here. what's reason three what are these reasons pmt is reason <laughs> three <laughs> right battery Good morning folks, um, apparently I've been a bit of a uh, moody so-so this week, don't believe anything that she says, it's her, she's the one that tests my patience to no end, but anyway, so <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> so anyway, today we're going to go and take the Volvo to um, We Buy Any Car, lose about half of the value of it, just so that we can <laughs> sell it. <laughs> to be fair, I've just driven around the block, I'm 100% confident on the tyres, the boot don't open. So they've offered us, a, offered us a grand, I think we'll get about, what, five, six hundred quid? I reckon we'll be lucky to get five. I'm sending you in with your game face on. Rest in bitch face, you go in there and sort it. <gasps> I don't have that. Are we going to go to the car wash first? Oh yeah, we're going to the car wash first, so that's always fun. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Okay, so we're just at the car wash now. Um, I should admit, I'm not a big fan of car washes. I always think they're going to squash me. Uh, but I've forgotten, now I've driven the car, I've forgotten all the things that are wrong with it. So the brakes ain't working very well, probably because it's not been driven. I'm sure one of the tyres is about to go. Um, if you turn the radio on and then turn the rear heating thing on for the rear, wi uh, rear window, you lose all reception on the radio. That has always freaked me out. I don't know why that happens. If anyone knows why that happens, I'd appreciate it because it's just crazy. Um, I would show you, but if I put the radio on, then I'll get a copyright strike and I won't be able to earn £3.50 off this video. So... I need all the help I can get. So yeah, there's a few issues. Oh, it makes this horrible crunching every time I turn right, which isn't ideal, but 
Yeah, so we'll give it a clean off. I do feel though that if we buy any car, give us 500 quid for it, we'd be ripping them off. So we'll see. So there she is, um, trying to work out what she's got to do for the car wash. I wonder how long it's going to take her. Don't know how to do it now. <laughs> Useless. In. You're in. It's like the mad panic rush to get into the car wash. The joys of a Saturday morning, right? With a bit of luck, them rolly things are just gonna squish her. So it's my turn in the car wash now. Don't you always have that, like, Oh, I don't think it's Can you always have that blind panic that you haven't closed all of like that? Close the windows, close the doors. It's gonna get wet. Ah, oh, look at that. Hopefully, everything is closed properly. I'm checking, I'm checking, I'm checking. This is how our life goes, right? We're at Morrison's where there's a we buy any car. I'm inside doing the shopping and stuff. And then I ring them and she's like, I need the AA people. I'm like, what? The car's broken down. Of course it has. The day that we go to try and sell it and get a little bit of money for it, it's broken down. So she's just there now. I think we're gonna get like 200 quid scrap for it now, aren't we? I and mean, it's such a shame, it looks so nice when it's all like clean and tidy and oh, stuff like that. Quid we've just spent on a bloody car wash. <laughs> 8 dollars We've got £191 and a penny profit today. <laughs> I didn't even siphon out all the diesel. This is our life. This is, this is what happens to us, isn't it, Louise? This is how, you know, things go for us. Ever, since, got... I, ever since I married you. Hey! Gone downhill. Hey, that's not nice, is it? Charming. Um, so just because my life can't really get any worse, look what Emily's found. Flipping done Elm, that's going to cost a fortune, isn't it? <sighs> Fuck my life. You want me to get a new broom? Yeah, fold up one that isn't in the way. <sighs> They're not like fold up, but I don't know where you've seen these. On the internet. Where? Amazon's probably got one. I bet oh, if I go on Amazon right now, right, I'll find a fold up broom. Go on then, do it. Fine, I'll do it. Yeah? Where? Soft broom, indoor sweeping, broom brush with stainless here, steel handle, look, comes into pieces. Fold up broom. I bet it's not fold up, I bet it just Yeah, they like... come apart. Let me see. Right, that... I'm doing it. I see that, I don't see this folding part. Oh, four sections screwed together. Comes apart, tucks away nicely. It's a little van. Yeah, these are fitting little, eh? How small do you think the littlest part's gonna be? See what the littlest part is, Louise. <sighs> See what I have to part with, it's ridiculous. Now what do you want? Great for dogs and cats, you just like put it on and it's the brush that just... Like, How many brushes have you already got for AJ? Not enough. You got enough brushes. How many brushes do you have? One for my head. No you don't. Right, let's go and see what more useless crap we don't need Emily wants to buy. Screw you, Louise. Why are you sulking, Louise? What now? Yeah. Because not only have you made me go into Dun Elm and got me covered in COVID, I've now got to eat this shit. <laughs> you like it? I'm hungry. No, I don't like it. It's horrible. Stop whinging. Well, it's not been a good day, has it? You're lucky that you're getting anything to eat. I could starve you. Well, like you did last week. <laughs> <laughs> No, you can look after yourself, you're an adult. Oh, sick of being an adult. Yeah, tell me about it. Right, say goodbye. Oh, <laughs> rude. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again, Louise, look, look. Look how excited you are, the AA man's here. Yeah, but he's got one of them little tiny vans, which means he's gonna whack me on a bloody tow rope, probably not even the bar, the actual rope. 
Yay! That's entertaining for me to watch. No, you're doing it. <laughs> I'll follow behind in the other. No. Yeah, you need to learn. Shut up, I need to learn. I don't. I've got you. Look at her. Weirdo. No. I can sit, I can hear things, you know. I'm not an idiot. Right, next time I'll just let you walk into the moving car. Oh, not, oh, you get on my nerves, honestly. You get on my wick. Get off my car. I'm using it to back down the AA, man. You want to be rescued? <laughs> no, I've got a car. Shoo, it needs to be rescued, not me. Actually. Here it comes. It's not looking good. So we think it's something to do with the fuel pump. We had this issue a few years ago. But, um, so it looks like it's going to the scrap man. Yay! So she's been towed to the scrap yard. Oh, it's a sad day for a Volvadine having to get scrapped. It's been such a good car. Sad day, sad day. Here she comes. I wonder how much money we've got. So, what did we get? She's gone. She's gone. 200 pounds. <laughs> 200 pounds, and that's mine. That. No, it's not. It's 200 pounds for the most expensive car we've ever bought, apart from the van. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we've had like eight years out of it. Oh, yeah, it's easy. No, exactly. So, Ugh. yep. She's gone. Bye bye, Volvadine. Volva. Don't start with me. Right, you all ready to go? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Why are you annoying? Okay. Uh, right guys, we are back from the scrap man, unfortunately. But yeah, the car's gone, so that's at least one thing sorted and ticked off our list. So, our ever-growing list, I might add. Yeah, our ever-growing list. Um, I just want to say, I know this week's video has not been that exciting, but sometimes, you know... Life isn't that exciting sometimes. It, yeah, life isn't that exciting, and sometimes you just have a bad week, um, your car breaks down, your wife or your partner's a dickhead, and these are just things you have to... <laughs> just, just things that you have to live with and get on with. And we don't want to put out content out just for the sake of putting it out, so we could have gone out and pretended to be happy and had a great time, but that's just not what happened this week is it i'm sorry i've been really happy this week uh, basically because we've not been speaking to each other all week so <laughs> sometimes in a relationship it's okay if you just don't get on for a bit oh yeah definitely and i think it's okay that you have space and that you go off and do your own thing isn't it mm -hmm. so um yeah and each relationship is different and whatever works for you but deep down we love each other so yeah i've just learned over the years that one week each month we just it's best if we don't speak so every now and again if you see if you see a vlog that's just me poncing around on my own you know it's because this one's suffering from major pmt again it's more like this one was just really really trying to annoy me go out of her way just to annoy me yeah i do it on purpose yeah, yeah. I, know I, you I, do. I breathe extra loud that week just yeah to... actually you do <laughs> um on that note guys if you did find this video remotely interesting or entertaining please do consider hitting the subscribe button give us a thumbs up yeah give us a thumbs up if you like this video and uh ding the notification bell and that'll let you know it when there's future videos coming out um i think for next week uh we're quite busy i've got some stuff that i can't put on youtube to get on with so i think we'll do like a another q a type video because when we did the last one we didn't give you guys much notice um so yeah if you've got any questions they don't have to be van related they can be any old stuff pre preferably for emily in fact you can answer all the van questions it's okay any technical questions about the van <laughs> emily's going to answer those um if you've got any cooking questions obviously i will answer those uh, but yeah anything you like really uh and we will see you guys on sunday yeah sunday is that, then? Is that what yeah. day they do, are we doing now oh, well i think we just like mix it up don't we we will see you next week <laughs> <laughs> bye feel i'm in a move for a switch up I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a sticker. She picture perfect, so I told him.